Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special Mother's Day edition of my mini art talks. I thought it would be a great time to talk about a wonderful painting of mothers and children. I thought about Mary Cassatt and other women painters of the 19th century that I admire so much, but I decided to do something a little bit different. Uh, if you know me, it's very different for, for me. And I decided to talk about this painting by Duccio. And um, it is Madonna and Child. <clears throat> it's been attributed to him from around 1290 to 1300. And it is at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Now, this is a very, very tiny painting. You'd be surprised if you see it. It's only about 9 and 3 8 inches tall and 6 and a half inches wide, which is really very, very tiny. And it was meant to be a devotional object that would be displayed in personal domestic space in someone's home. And it would also be on a wall uh, and there would be candles under it. And you can see that because you can see the burn, the burns from the candles in the wood of the, of the frame, which is a poplar frame, by the way. And it was meant to be viewed from, you were to be on your knees. It, as I said, it was a devotional object. So you were meant to be on your knees looking up at this. And the other thing about the frame, which is very detailed and very interesting, is notice this here. This is like a, a parapet. And um, I think it's such an interesting thing because what it does is, is it establishes kind of a boundary. So you are separated from this holy family, from this devotional uh, object, but yet you're allowed to come right up there, right up to the parapet, so you can get as close as possible to uh, the figures of the Holy Mother and Child. Now, many of, of the uh, things in this painting, qualities of this painting, are very Byzantine-esque. Um, and you can see that because of, well, let me get a little bit closer here. You can see the oval shape of the face of the Madonna is very Byzantine. And also her very long, elegant nose is something you will see in Byzantine art, as well as the gold leaf in the background. Now, you can't really see it that uh, that well in this reproduction, but it's really very, very gold and very shiny, which we know is a hallmark of the Byzantine era. And also the depiction of the Christ child is he, he it's kind of like this miniature man that we see in Byzantine art. He certainly doesn't look like any infant uh, that we might see in, uh, in reality. But even though it has these Byzantine qualities, I think it's it's a transitional painting uh, because there are many many elements of this that depict Duccio's uh, interest in in humanism, particularly I think in the interaction between mother and child. And this is Mother's Day after all today, May uh, 2020, and you can see that in look at how the baby, the Christ child, uh, his hand here is so gently. Uh, uh, pushing back the veil of his mother as if to look at her face and see her sorrow because she's thinking about what's going to befall her son later in life. And it's as if he's pushing back this veil and looking at her to say, don't worry, mom, you know, it's going to be okay. So uh, this is um, uh, kind of the, the holy family envisioned with a very human aspect, but yet it Duccio never sacrifices the, the, uh, the sacred nature, the sacred presence of this painting uh, while he's doing it. Now, there was a lot of controversy uh, surrounding this painting. Um, it, was, uh, never, it was never signed by Duccio, and many uh, art historians thought that it perhaps was done by a painter in the 19th century, and others felt it was done um, in the uh, way back uh, in around 1300 when it's attributed, but it was done by a forger, it wasn't done by Duccio. But the museum, the Met, uh, which bought the painting in 2004, uh, conducted a very thorough examination, um, uh, including of the frame and its construction, et cetera, and also of the painting, all of its under drawings, and you can see, th see that here. And uh, they looked at the pigment comp uh, composition, and they found everything very consistent with works that were signed by Duccio. Uh, from around 1300. So it has been attributed uh, to him. 
And as I said, it was acquired by the Met in 2004 for $45 million. And this also created a lot of controversy because people within the museum community and, and people in the general public felt that was an awful lot of money for one teeny tiny little painting. And that money could have been better spent in other areas. But there are only 13 known paintings by Duccio Extant in the world. And uh, so it was felt that this was absolutely uh, an appropriate purchase for the Met to have made. So I wish you all a very happy Mother's Day. I hope you've enjoyed um, this little mini art talk, special edition Mother's Day, and uh, that you'll come back and uh, see me uh, again soon. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, just put my name into the search bar and my art talks page will come up where I post these videos, but also post other things that I think people who love art will be interested in. Same thing for my YouTube channel. You can go there and find me. I'm also on Instagram, Art Talks with Janet. Come and see me there. And I have a web page. And the and in the um, schedule section of the web page, I have my the schedule that I was going to do in the fall, in the spring, all of the art talks I was going to do locally. And of course, they've all been canceled. But many of them have been rescheduled as online art uh, talks, some of them for free. Uh, and some of them uh, at a, for a nominal fee to support the institution that um, sponsors the talks. So I hope you'll also go to uh, my website and um, check out the, the virtual art talks, much longer than these mini talks that I do. But uh, again, happy Mother's Day, and I will see you uh, again soon, I hope. Thanks for coming. <laughs>